Do women like facial hair? Are beards in this year? And what facial hairstyles do women find the most attractive? My name is Blaine, I'm a dating coach for men, and we are going to use science to answer these questions and more. We'll review some published studies on the best beard styles, review some new data from this year on what facial hairstyles women find the most attractive, and apply some common sense principles. First, do women like beards? Many have suggested that women find men with beards or at least stubble to be more attractive. I'm going to link three studies below that support this data. One is from 1990, one is from 2008, and one is from 2013. On the other hand though, similar studies from the same time period have also reported that women find men with clean shaven faces to be more attractive. I'll link two more below, one from 2001 and one from 2003. The problem is all of these studies suffer from serious shortcomings. For example, in the 2013 Dixon and Brooks study, which is often quoted in online articles about beards, the results were based on only 10 men, all from European descent. And the women's attractiveness score on the styles ranging from clean shaven to full beard were all clustered between 1.3 and 1.6 out of five. Not exactly inspiring results. In short, there simply is not a definitive answer on whether women categorically do or don't like beards, which squares with my real life experiences observing hundreds of my girlfriend's dating patterns. So what this really means is some women prefer guys with facial hair, some women prefer guys without, and most women's preferences are not rigid. Basically, if you want to attract women, just choose a facial hairstyle that you like and feel confident about. This is supported by some census style survey data I collected of more than 400 American women, 422 to be exact, ages 18 to 45, about seven beard styles. Clean shaven, short stubble, long stubble, mustache, goatee, circle beard, and full beard. We are going to look at how women range these styles from most attractive to least attractive on my beard attractiveness chart. But before we get into that, I have a quick favor to ask you. Please tap that little bell subscribe button. It really helps out my page and I'm so appreciative. Thanks. So let's look at my beard attractiveness chart. Short Stubble took first place with 66.5%, almost two thirds of women, ranking it in the top three most attractive facial hairstyles for men. Long Stubble took second place with 60.5% of women, ranking it as one of the top three most attractive styles. Full Beard and Clean Shaven ironically tied for third with 52.1% of women, ranking it as the top three most attractive style. Although it's important to note that clean shaven had the highest percentage of women ranking it as number one, the most attractive style. Almost a third of women said that, so maybe it deserves some bonus points for that. The lone mustache came in fifth place with just 24.2% of women ranking it as one of the top three most attractive styles. For what it's worth, I love mustaches. In fact, I begged my husband to grow a mustache without a beard. So for your mustache guys out there, don't worry, there are women for you. The circle beard, which lacks full chin and sideburns, came in sixth with 23.3% of women ranking it in the top three style. And finally, the goatee came in last place with just 21.8% of women ranking it as a top three style. We see very similar results when women rated these styles on their own on a scale from zero to 100. Clean shaven and short stubble tying for the highest average at 62, followed by long stubble at 57 and full beard at 56, then circle beard at 37 and mustache goatee at 33. What's with these women not liking mustaches? So what are the best beard styles then? If you go down the facial hair rabbit hole, you will discover there are a lot of full beard styles, some with very exotic names like the Hollywoodian and the Bantolts. So which of these styles is better? I didn't survey the panel of 422 women on this because what I discovered after informally surveying 100 of my girlfriends was that women, even the ones who liked full beards, couldn't actually distinguish between these fancier styles. 
Obviously, this isn't a random sample that you can make larger inferences about the American population on, but if you're curious what me and my friends think about facial hair and beards, listen up. The most important finding from my informal survey was that women don't actually think about beards a lot, especially not specific styles, except for the fact that they shouldn't be messy. Literally 98% of my girlfriends said they preferred a well-maintained beard over a natural beard if it's longer than one inch in length. Basically, if you want to grow a power beard, which is typically considered four to six inches in length, or you wanna try out a yeard, which is even longer and grown for a year or more, absolutely go for it. There are definitely women who will find it sexually attractive. You just want to avoid giving Tom Hanks castaway vibes. I hope you found that data interesting and helpful, and in case it wasn't clear before, most importantly, do what makes you happy and do what makes you feel comfortable. Let me know in the comments what style tips you want me to research next, and don't forget to tap that subscribe button so you're the first to know when I upload new videos weekly. And don't forget, your girl loves a mustache, so don't let the statistics deter you. Do what you love. Mustache vibes.